Rim rims and other volatile substances packaged haphazardly without a care in the world. Welcome to Rimworld, where today we are apparently mining element zero, which I've been told is very, very dangerous. Yesterday, uh, much like the gun he was aiming at the scythe they're coming for him, uh, blue steak has been thoroughly uncocked. And, uh, oh, well, actually, so did a lot of our colonists. So I think defenses, maybe even some armor, especially some sort of... Uh, uh, metal plated pantaloons would come in fairly handy, but my ultimate long-term goal for today along with you know Trying to shore up defenses a little bit here is the planetary drill I think if we can get one of those and if we can get one of those early We are gonna be good for the rest of this. Well, I'm not gonna say for the rest of this playthrough Obviously, we're gonna build a friggin space station. Those things are expensive, but it will kickstart what we need to actually get our space station underway Oh, that was great timing. We've got our arrival as well. Thank you for using rim deed. Your applicant has arrived This was our free trial applicant. Don't forget who ended up being actually not too bad Crafting seven single passion doesn't make them fantastic, but certainly makes them better than flux marsh that we were trying to Train up. Not only are they better already, but they do have that passion as well. So you are officially 100% sacked. Thank you. I might just set up a bunch of really, really crappy jobs for him to blitz through. As long as we keep recycle at the top, then, you know, we could say, hey, make as many dust as you want. Because we're doing hunting as our primary way of, uh, of getting food going, right? We could even do it as a way to earn a little bit of cash. I know this is particularly useful. We could go like uh, tribal wear. Someone left a comment yesterday actually saying that if we could just make tribal wear over and over and recycle it, it's probably the quickest way to go about it. So sure, sod it. Let's do that forever. And then let's make sure we got recycle apparel. And then we'll swap those around and change this one to just be uh, tribal wear at that point. There we go. It's quite a long method of training crafting. It's not the most efficient way at all, but it's fairly cheap. We are going to lose resources every time we repeat that loop, but... Shit, it might be the only way at this point we can actually craft components. So, all we need, look, all we need is eight crafting, right? Then we can make as many components as we want. The turrets just watching as our guy gets savaged by a cougar is, is actually just incredibly high tier remod. That's, uh, that's just fantastic. I assume this will be the same thing. Yep, does not give a shit. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm actually so angry about that. Okay, Greg. Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Yeah, fuck off. Kill it. Finish it off. Then you can run away, cougar. I'm gonna turn you into the greatest tribal whale I've ever seen. Kill it. Kill it dead. Kill it now. Yes, go. Turrets, attack. Unbelievable. All I need is a crumb of plasteel, brother. A single crumb of plasteel and we found worthless uranium and uranium and uranium and then steel and more steel and gold. All worthless. But to be fair, I'll take more of that element zero because that will actually allow us to uh, take a look at some of these, uh, some of these more high tier mass effect things. So let's go for... When I say high tier, I mean like literally like the highest tier of, you know, combat stuff. Let's go for element zero research. I mean, it makes sense. Then we can build these biotic amps, which I assume are just similar to uh, silent neuroformers. I wonder if we could give that to uh, good old Greg. Ezo power generation. Produce huge amount. Oh man, that'd be fun to get our space station running on that, wouldn't it? Assuming that we can use the planetary drill to target... Uh, more on element zero. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. High tech body implants make up for the fact that Greg's got a bit of a bit of a painful head. Or we could even go for more of these omni tools as well. That so so that's the thing that gives Greg the power to do that uh, kind of armor burst thing. So we could get that. Um, oh, is this Codex? Those are the ships which now work with uh, STRS as well. By the way, heavy armor, mass accelerator turrets. Man, shit. There's so much stuff I want to get here, but I don't even know where to start. Uh, look, let's start with. Whoa, mechs? What do you mean by mechs? Mechs how? How do those work? It was like actual like combat robots. That's incredible. Don't worry about it. We're getting too distracted here. Uh, let's start with this one. Just to try and bring Greg up to a, you know, a slightly better level. There is some sort of like Luciferium production, right? Luciferium in advanced robot mechanics that dramatically improves the body's functions. We could, we could get some... Luciferium going. I'm pretty sure this mod, obviously you can't craft Luciferium in the base game. This mod is actually fairly balanced in that it's like insanely expensive to craft Luciferium. You wouldn't do it to, uh, you know, set up a, a drugs farm in the middle of a uh, rainforest or whatever. Um, you would instead do it to keep somebody alive at all costs. So we can make some, give it to Greg, but it costs like Yayo and Go Juice and all sorts of things to to craft that, so it's not like we can just, you know, research this and be done with it. I've personally not used the mod before, but it's the most balanced, well, I don't even call it balanced, it's the most expensive way to craft Luciferium out of all of the Luciferium crafting mods, so I thought, let's go for that one, and let's see if, uh, let's see if we can tidy up poor old Greg. 
<laughs> you never know, we might just get some Luciferium on our adventures, but the problem is when we're up in space, that's going to be a little bit harder to come by. I almost forgot to rename the new guy there as well. So we've got Aramian Goldfire. That sounds that sounds suitably alien, I think. I want to go after those pirates. Uh, we, we had that quest ages and ages ago now. 25 days for the weather controller. It really hasn't bothered us that much. So I've been putting it off until we could get some armor. To be honest, the sooner we get it done, the sooner we can start growing crops. Because the last time we had to wait till pretty much the end of spring before we could grow a winter crop. We're already out of it again, so we've got to stick to hunting, like I said, which is working fine. But we do need to actually grow some things. Especially if we want to go for this Luciferian production as well. I think, look, give me uh, give me your gun, Muskrat. We're going to give that to non-lethal snipes. And then we'll send these four. Those are our four best shooters. Bear in mind, it is, it is arranged here by shooting skill we've got package survival meals we've got 24 of them fine let's head out then i mean it's only there it's not gonna take us long to get over and give it a go and if we do get injured we can run away i've also sent them with medicine as well just to help out in the event that something does go horribly wrong went for greg again poor greg <laughs> still can't believe it i just had such big goals from you know intergalactic hero renowned warrior episode two irreversibly brain damaged oh god really you know what in hindsight i think i probably could have just sent greg <laughs> oh you're leaving him behind you don't need to bully him like this okay come on greg you can do it the wolf star making greg feel bad about his abilities okay okay speaking of his abilities kaboom uh no i said kaboom there we go good shit good shit good shit right now we'll slowly move over in this direction let's get behind those rocks and get him on some sort of killing field a little bit. You know what? I don't think we need to worry about it. I think I'm overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. Let's just get in there. I think I, I think we'll just get in there. Kill them all. Kill them all, Greg. Yes! Right in the reproductive organs. <laughs> you just got you just got annihilated by a brain damaged man and his carers. Go on, Greg. Come on. You can go and smash the weather controller up. That's down to you, my friend. Oh, we do only have 30, 60 days growing time, don't we? So that weather controller was absolutely having... <laughs> having absolutely no impact to speak of. But we did get some plasteel, so I suppose that was, uh... That was probably worth the journey. Oh, God, on the subject of reproductive organs. Elliot and the extension. High command of the... Ah, oh, here we go. High command of the Novi Colonial Initiative have analyzed the situation in Paragon Pitfall, and they've just sighed heavily. <laughs> They want to relocate two personnel to our colony, two farmers specifically. They want a workshop and a rec room, at least six by six in size. That is well doable compared to the nine rooms they wanted, 18 by 18 in size. So two six by six rooms. What's our primary building resource right now? Uranium. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Never mind. If the lights go out and they run out of power, they can just, you know, chip a bit off of grandma's bedroom. At least six by six in size. Oh, look, we'll build it up here then, eh? Uh, six by six. So those are those are way more reasonable. I'm gonna give it six by seven. No, I'm not. That'd be that'd be that'd be absurd. Let's do six by six. There you are. Those are actually like those are kind of like a little bit too small, aren't they? <laughs> Never mind. That's why it's getting an extension. They want a workshop and a rec room. Workshop and a rec room. The rec room. We could just quite literally reinstall this crap in, couldn't we? I assume we get them, and then we could just you know we could just take it all down. That's what we're gonna do. And a workshop. So we could just say, put the, put the, well, what are we not using? Well, all of these are kind of easy right now. Well, let's just reinstall that in there because we haven't got anything else to smelt down. Really is that easy, eh? Wow, that's good. Okay. And they've bought their own guns. Thank God. So we've got Evans, Groundbreaker, and Very Neurotic. That's actually not bad. So people said that the way I should be interpreting the draw, you remember the, the description on it is a bit, a bit confusing um, or, or a bit, a bit, a bit, strangely written to, to say the least so the colonist is uh, the drill is affected by colonist and robot skills but is not affected by the mining skill of the colonist and, and the way that i think we're kind of going to interpret that is that they're things like their global work speed or if they've got bionics that affect work speed or maybe even manipulation um then that will most likely affect the speed of the planetary drill so that's what we're going for here and if that's the case very neurotic is very, very good because it gives the 40% work speed there. Norman, what are you like? Um, pyromaniac coward. Brilliant. Cable dumb labor firefighting. 10 artistic, 7 mining. We've got two good miners. Are they supposed to be bloody farmers, weren't they? With it, well, with it, with it, they've got a combined skill between them of three plants. Be honest. I might see if we can get Norman a new posting using Rimdeed. 
<laughs> I, might, I might just get rid of Norman. Let's give him a call. Okay, uh, goes to the customer support packs, trade in employees. I'll be honest, I'm very disappointed by, by Norman. Norman can go. Goodbye, no why is Blue State Boris so low tier? The other guy can stay, but only because he's very neurotic. I can, I can deal with that. Um, they, they're gonna trade in his contract, they're gonna give us 462. Do we wanna buy anyone else? We could afford, uh, we could afford Frog or Raz. Or... We take the 1500 gold and we could go for a we go for a woodlog package at which point we get one random person for free but they are random as far as i understand it but this one though look at that five vip applicants i wonder if those guys are like the highest best of the best that's eight thousand silver for that one no oh, we've got a fresh joris colonist joris oh god flux marshal watch out hello i assume he's just a regular old joris yeah just a regular little joris there but he does have a hat and then I'm going to kill absolutely, you know, we'll try, we'll try and get a Derek. How about that? A lot of people were very angry at me last time. I said, we'll get a Derek. We'll, we'll just go and hunt Derek Lodge. I'll try and get one. Don't blame me though. If one of our people's arms are <laughs> ripped off by a giant sloth. Now that to me looks like free plasteel. Let's get him, Greg. Do you want to go from the other side? Because that's where the centipedes are. What, those guys out first? Oh, to be fair, there's lances on this side too. Well, either way, it's not ideal. Let's just get to whatever cover we can, which isn't going to be <laughs> very much at all. Okay, here we go. I'm not really sure what to go for first, to be honest. I, uh, my, my plan is wake him up and run. Wake him up and run. They're going for the turret. Actually, that, that works pretty well. You know what? While they're distracted, go for the... Turn around, turn around. Oh, Blue State Boris! Oh, this poor guy. He can't catch a fucking break. See, we're, we're, they've landed in an area where we've got absolutely no cover. So if we can take out the long-range ones while the scythes are distracted... That'll be absolutely fine. I'm going to throw down a quick 10 spot for Boris here. Let's go medical. Uh, you go rest. And then let's take uh, Muskrat. You come tend to little Boris. Boris, I'm so sorry. Let's also maybe do a little self-tending there too. 13 hours. What did you lose? Uh, I just shot in the torso. That's all right. Actually, we can tend that like immediately. Hang on. Let's do one of those. You'll be fine. And everything's distracted. That actually worked surprisingly well. It was a little bit, a little bit of a risk, but I think we did okay there. Okay, so with the exception of a lost stomach, but to be fair, Blue State Boris has lost a lot worse than that. Oh, and the stomach again! They're going to cycle through a bloody body part every day. Yep, no chance of anybody dying, not even remotely. But we did, again, lose, a <laughs> lose an entire stomach, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but never mind. Or a pain in the... Oh, I mean, pain in the stomach. All right. Now, it did just occur to me that was a defoliator ship, so there was absolutely no need to destroy that at the speed that we did. But we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Poor Blue State Boris. He has entered a total catastonic state because he was castrated. Fair enough. Oh shit. Okay. Mechanoids are close to obtaining critical mass before they re receive a hardware upgrade. So we need to get out into the world and destroy them fast. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a lot of trouble. Uh, let's take a look. Are there any convenience to us? A troop ship. Um, as far as I recall, those guys are really, really strong. We got a carrier. Tremendously increases mechanoid present. This one uh, dramatically increases. What is this one here? A frigate. Slightly increases. There's only three ships. I guess it's because the larger ships have dropped. We could take that out. But again, our best character, Commander Greg, kind of doesn't really have much going for him right now, unfortunately. Element Zero research finished. Maybe that'll help us. Resentment Zero using a special extractor. High-tech body implants are next. Okay, so let's throw down. Obviously, we're still waiting on the deep drill. Maybe I should just disassemble everything and build up the deep drill. Maybe I should do that. Well, let's get rid of these batteries for a start. Why don't we go caravanning a little bit? We, we do have a good amount of silver at this point. It's getting it back that's pending the ass. Actually, uranium too. Maybe I should start allying with people. That would, that would also help so we get a bunch more traders. There it is. Element Zero extractor. Oh, God. It's another 200 plasteel. We just got absolutely no plasteel at all. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, look. Let's go this way and hold the doors open on the way out. How about that? Just see if we can at least bait them over to some of where the turrets are. You know, if we stand down here. Well, actually, let's get our people into position as a lineup. Give me someone who can actually move decently fast. Congratulations, you've just volunteered, Aramian. You're going to stand here, shoot the bugs, and then run as fast as you can. 
Okay. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Okay. Just, just, just get them attacking. Please run faster. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, stop firing, though. Stop firing. Start running. You know when I said someone who was faster? I've never been more disappointed in my life. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Fucking hell. Brilliant now those insects popped out. Because they had nowhere else to spawn in, they popped forward far more than they... They normally would have blown out in seven hours. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just a bit of blood loss. But he has to deal with it in these colonies. Okay, okay. The spotlight turret getting hit is absolutely not a problem. Thank God we actually built some of these fucking turrets now, though, eh? God damn. Okay, let's bring you over. They're all trapped in the freezer. Well, that's good. That's more stuff I've got to waste my resources on. Precious, precious resources. Muskrat, rescue you. Everybody else, let's head up. Where are they going to break out of first? It's taken a bloody long time, given those prefab walls have a thousand hit points apiece. Holy crap. Um, what we'll do is we'll position ourselves at the top here and just smash up some of these hives along the way. I kind of want to open the door for them. So they don't end up breaking the walls down. Who's got the move speed? You know what we need? We need to add back in the move speed to Rimhud. There we go. Okay, so now we can look through our people and see who's actually got some... Like, Wolfstar is actually bloody fast. Okay, Wolfstar, you volunteered. Congratulations. Let's crack that open. Everyone else, let's start moving those guys. Let's just move everybody else south, and then we'll we'll bring Wolfstar open. You know, let's bundle up around the door as much as possible. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I want you to do that and then run. Get out of there, Wolfstar! What part of run did you not fucking hear? It's like I set you specifically in order, and you disobeyed me. Unbelievable. Classic Wolfstar. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter if he gets peppered too much. Right, time to start packing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Greg. You can do it. Climb. Use your skills, Greg. <laughs> What's left of your skills, Greg? <laughs> How is uh, Aramian doing? Muskrat is trying to get some... No, 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 no. Just, just tend. Just tend. They'll be fine. Nice. I think we're done. I think we are done. Wow. They only managed, out of all of that, an infestation right in the center of the base to destroy the butcher table, which I can live with. Oh, and an overall cooler, but... Could have been a lot, lot worse. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these. We're going to stick with Barnet replacements as our next big research because I was just going through the list here and my God, everybody is just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Some more than others. <laughs> Muskrat has a peg leg, a bite scar, a gunshot. Uh, Flux Marsh untouched somehow. Uh, Glenn missing an eye. Uh, Aramian is also missing an eye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa! Hang on, they sent me a fucking worker as a mind screw installed? Well, that doesn't seem fair. He's done it. Aramian has done it. We've got eight crafting. Now, in terms of prosthetics, that leaves us quite limited, I won't lie. But we can make something. Oh. Ah. An absolutely phenomenal investment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blue Steak, do I have some good news for you, my friend? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> I mean, I've made it now, but my God, I wish I hadn't, because that is so, so high tier. Muskrat, what the hell am I going to do with that? We need another... <laughs> 2,800 steel. Okay, well, uh, what we'll do then is let's move away from uranium production for a little while because honestly, we're doing fine with that. I mean, I know it's our primary power source and it couldn't hurt to get as much as we can, but I mean, steel is the important thing right now, eh? Uranium, uranium, jade, element zero over there. Okay. Gold, steel. Oh, steel actually really, really convenient to the base there. Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. It means we could hook it straight up to the, uh, to the regular power grid. You know what? I'm going to go and throw down a couple of deep drills on top of that as well. Let's put one there and one... I guess we'll put another one here for the time being. Bolt goods trader. Hey, you guys got any steel? I don't need yaks. I need steel. Steel, 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 steel. Nothing, nothing, nothing. They've got cloth. I could buy some cloth and then actually build some recreation that isn't just a chess table in a dark room. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'll trade you some insect jelly for that. Uh, you can have you can have 200. My treat. Actually, you know what? Let's try and take as much money from them as possible. Just so that we can maybe save up for some new recruits. I could really do with some people who are 
actually pretty good at combat at this stage. Holy crap. 140% efficiency. I don't even want to know what aspect of that could be more efficient. <laughs> It's been, it's been, it's been 30 seconds. It's been 30 seconds. We've mined barely anything. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, okay. <laughs> Beware the insects are angry and destroy your base. Did you see that? <laughs> that's incredible. Okay, okay. Good luck. Oh, shit. No, that's quite a lot. Derek Lodge. Soon to be Derek Lodge. Be careful. Be careful. Thank God I bought the whole squad. Glenn, where are you going? Prometheus School of Running Away. Holy crap. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Greg? Combat drone. I actually forgot to do that for the first infestation, didn't I? Brilliant. Stream oh, no. Oh, no. He's fine. He's fine. It's okay. Greg's fireproof. Just not, you know, being shot in the brain proof, unfortunately, for him. Oh, God. Well, non-lethal snipes, I won't lie to you, is probably completely dead. Um. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. This is redeemable. This is redeemable. Run. Run. Keep running. He's quite a fast mover. Three point one two. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. Go. Bring that bear down. Kill him dead. The fucking, the fucking bison's look so derpy. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Nature has really been out to to just do us in today. I mean, given what we got planned, I don't really blame it that much. I. What? 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 What's happening? What is happening? What's going on? Why? Can I not have five fucking minutes? What's a sun blocker? Do not block the sun. I need that. What are you? Geth hunter. Well, that doesn't sound very friendly. Geth trooper. Okay. Um, well, look, at least this one's behind a little bit of cover, so we can position ourselves in a way to block, like, all of their turrets. And then all we've got to do, if we could pop that capsule. Well, let's get, let's give them time to tidy up. Non-lethal, tidy up, to heal up. Non-lethal snipes has just been savaged by a bear, so we'll give them a minute. Here's the plan. Greg pops out. And Greg destroys. Uh, let's throw one of those down as a as a nice distractor again. That'll do it. Is that gonna wake them up? They are on fire. I mean that would that would that would wake me up. I don't know about the mechanoids. Okay, here they come, here they come, here they come. Now stay behind this cover. Ah you shit, don't you, Greg? Stay behind here. Pop them as they come out. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that to be a lancer. Okay, that's a little annoying. Move this way a tad bit, but not too much. There we go, that's perfect. I'm gonna hit that pikeman, take him out. Oh, God, Glenny got shot in the shoulder. Okay, move down, move south, move south. You guys move down a little bit. Kind of on the, we're on the very tail edge of where that boy can see us. There we go, there we go. That's it. Bait him up, bait him up. This is all gone to shit. This is good, this is good. I assume those things can't die to fire damage, but everything besides a couple of scythes now and uh, a lancer have been dealt with. Uh, where's Greg? Greg, join me. To say that we've got no armor, I feel like this isn't actually going that badly. Okay, there's the Lancer. Okay, I was kind of hoping we could bait it out the other way, but that's all right. Move over. Okay, we're fine. What a mess. Oh, it's your armor. Greg. Greg's armor broke. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. Oh, no. Greg. <laughs> what are you wearing? Yeah, so we can't use our... We can still use uh, Combat Drone, because that's from his Omni tool. We can't use the uh, the pop anymore. The uh, the The armor breaking thing whatever that happened to be okay let's just kind of prepare to deal with this fucking thing okay stop shooting each other it's kind of a pain in the ass oh they've dealt with it they've dealt with it okay so we've got an auto charge turret i'm not comfortable fighting with with greg anymore because i think they'll just probably insta kill him given that he's got absolutely no uh, uh sharp of 28 percent brilliant i think wolf star is our best bet because he's actually got that flak. He's got the equivalent of a flak helmet. Better than the flak helmet. Um, he does have that flak jacket too. We can actually see it from there, eh? Oh, there we go. There we go. Wolfstar, you can do it. You can do it, Wolfstar. One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. Oh, right in the finger. There, he's done it. He's done it. He's done it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now we've got to somehow take out this. So I'm thinking we come down to here. And then bring these guys round when this acquires a target. We can take out that one. To be honest, we could be able to take that in a single volley. What's seen us? What just went beep beep? Oh, that's seen us from there. Oh, shit. My bad. I wasn't expecting that to actually have line of sight there. Right, there we go. There we go. You guys back up. Good shit. Okay, when that thing goes for Wolfstar, 
We bring these guys down. Nice. And then we shoot this thing. Nice. Okay, that worked. That worked. Somehow. <laughs> now we'll, um... We'll kick this, and then we'll let everyone go home, and uh, maybe I'll even give them a day off at this point. I feel like I kind of owe them. Boom. Look at those mechanoid components as well. We should be going into the, the, the V mechanoid stuff, shouldn't we? We've got so much we could do with it. So let's go down to... Where's your factory basics? Oh, God, this... Okay, here we go. Uh, an auto smelter probably wouldn't hurt. Power is something we've actually, for once, got a bunch of. So... Munitions and armament. Metallics and masonry. Oh, electronic fabrication. I suppose that would get around not having anybody good at crafting if we just had a machine do it for us. Medicinal compounding. That allows us to make neutromium from corpses, correct? That would be a step towards luciferium, if nothing else. And I think this is not a bad idea as well for auto smelting because we're getting a lot of steel slag. Then we can put our people all on the deep drills. Let the slag be smelted automatically. Okay, Commander Greg. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. We kind of expected that. Flak armor? I feel like I could go for flak armor. It's not going to be very good because we haven't got any good crafters, but... You know what? Let's sort those over then. Let's sort those over. So medicinal compounding. Yeah, there we go. And then masonry after that. No. Well, yeah, because we've got a lot of... Well, we do have a lot of mass graves that we can uh, obviously mulch down. But to what end? We haven't got drug production, so we might as well go for this one first. Come on, Greg. Drill. Drill like you've never drilled before. Oh my god, you know who we should get doing the drilling? Blue steak. It's got 140% efficiency. <laughs> oh, more steel right there. God damn. Okay, this is good. This is good. I really should use these under... <sighs> really? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem fun. <laughs> Auto mortars are dormant. Okay, we got that going for us, which is something. Uh, that is quite literally and couldn't more be on our doorstep. Uh, I hate to say it, I think Wolfstar is fucking immediately dead. Oh, no. This is a massacre. This is actually insane. Um, Run. Keep running. Okay, Wolfstar is down immediately. That's a good sign. Those things are quite easy to take out. All of these knights, though. What the hell am I going to do about that? Okay, get behind some cover. Behind some cover. No matter where you stand, just as long as it's behind some cover, to be fair. Greg? Greg. Put one of those down. It might soak up a shot or two. Get in there, Greg. Get in there. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, there's one person down. Oh, my God. The polar bear's gone mad. Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in the coke. <laughs> shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. Nice! What a shot, what a shot, what a shot. Greg. Uh, you know what, Greg, actually stay there. I was going to move him up back here a little bit more so he's protected on uh, on his left. Uh, it's not worth the gamble, is it? We're actually doing okay, we're actually doing okay. Come on, come on. Bring him down. Greg, is there any ability we can throw in here? We got nothing. We got nothing anymore. Oh, crap. Just as we finished, black armor too. Granted, we wouldn't have enough time to have crafted this much black armor for this many people. But here we are nonetheless. Uh, what's the range on this gun looking like? So we can move forward a little bit more. I don't like putting him right behind this turret, but... Oh, uh, yeah, for exactly that reason. Oh, it's Zorro. It's Zorro. Alas, poor non-lethal snipes. Parting is so sweet, Zorro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm sorry. Homeless got dinged by the turret, but is otherwise... Actually, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Come back down, come back down. Ignore, ignore Zorro. It's, it's eating that rat. Whose rat was that? I'm not entirely sure. It's down, it's down, it's down. Don't worry about the bear. Don't worry about the bear. That's tomorrow's problem. Oh, Flux Marshall is down. That seems pretty dangerous. He's had his arm shot off. How are we looking? That's a lot of lances. And I assume if we get close, this thing's just gonna... Just gonna pick us off. Actually, the range isn't too bad. Move forward. Move forward. We're losing cover, but there's no other way we're going to be able to take these guys down. Get in there. We've lost another arm. Muskrat's not lost an arm. Thank God we got bionics. Okay. Come on. Come on. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Then we patch up. One more. One more. Then we patch up. Go home. Patch up. Then we'll go for the actual ship itself. That terraformer seems to be doing me a frighten. What a mess. 
What a mess. That was right, right on our doorstep. This is like the proper Mass Effect experience. I remember all the all the robots that wanted to kill you. Five hours, five hours, ten hours, three hours, and of course, two of those were on medics. Uh, so Flux Marshal is completely out. Muskrat could tend. So here's the plan then. Let's go... Let's go Dr. Care on you. You tend to Muskrat. Muskrat's up. Okay. Muskrat tends to... Who's next on triage here? Right, so Flux Marsh. Let's go Greg on that. Uh, Muskrat, let's get you tending. Look, we're going to do this, and then we're just going to have to accept the infections that will come as a side effect of not doing proper treatment. Where are you? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, is he tended already? It was just one... Right, he had his arm shots off. I remember. It's just one thing wrong with him. Okay, Boris. I'm also going to go Dr. Car... You know, I'm going to go Dr. Car across the board. Just get him patched up. Otherwise, if anything else happens at this point, we're super dead. We're beyond regular dead. We're sent to super dead. What was that? Even? Those have woken up already. Oh, shit. Well, no pressure then. Wow. Um, we've got no mortars. Well, more specifically, we don't have, well, we don't have any mortars. I took them apart because we don't have mortar shells. Uh... Okay. Okay. Who's actually capable of... We're just going to have to take the hits. Who's actually capable of combat? Muskrat is missing an arm, but is otherwise combat capable. Uh, so, same with Evans. Aramian is as well. Jesus, what a complete mess. Colonist needs treatment. Oh, sorry. I thought this is someone needed rescue then. You didn't. You didn't. Shredded. Auto mortar. Shot Zorro. Just as we were about to save him. Okay, then. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Well, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's repairable. So then, how are we looking? Bleeding out nine hours. Life threatening blood six stream, but it's otherwise fine. You're tending to Greg. That's okay. Greg is okay. Let's finish off patching these people, and then we need to immediately get back out there again. We don't have a choice. As much as I'd love to get some replacement limbs going here, as much as I would love to get any sort of... Any sort of armor, it's not happening. Muskratful. Get a... Ah, oh, finish tending. We need a long-range weapon for Muskratful. How are you doing? Okay, so let's tend to you then, and then you can get back on the... Back on the battlefield. They've both woken up now. Okay. Here comes another one. Okay, that one's a whiff. One condition needs tending. I'm not going to take anyone below 50% health. We can't. So, Greg, homeless, how are you doing? Is it is it dangerous? It's a bruise. Okay, you, 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 you need a better gun. You need a better gun. So, let's get in there. We've got a gun available right there. So, honestly, if we just swap Muskrat out for the assault rifle. Oh, no, you were not just hit by... Oh, my God. Direct hit from a mortar. Luckily, no bleeding. Did knock out our machining table. That one whiffed. Glenny actually looks in, in, in not a good position. They're absolutely fine. They've just got a lot of damage. Chances are they'll, they, they, they might lose a limb. But overall, it's not like their torso is injured. They're likely to die. Okay. Can we hit them from behind cover? That's the first question. Oh, there's another turret gun. And we've got that there to concern ourselves with. That seems very unfriendly. But if we take this out... No, no, no. Take this out. I've only got 100 health. Greg could probably solo that. We take these down. If we cut through the ship there... You know, if we go for the... Is it not the engines? If we destroy the engines, they explode. I wonder if we can take... If, if we defeat this ship, whether or not we can take that apart. And that might mean a lot of plasteel for us. Now, because this is going to be a very delicate and probably long procedure, and we're already overrunning, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. And then tomorrow, we will see if we can take apart this ship without losing anyone else. Our first death of the series. Non-lethal snipes. 16 cooking. Gone. Absolutely gone. What actually killed him there? Liver was destroyed. Right kidney was destroyed. Uh, was that the thing? Yeah, liver destroyed was the thing that killed him. That's a real, real shame. Wow. We just got very unlucky there. It was behind cover. It, you know, it wasn't a, a blow to the head or anything like that. The lack of armor was the killer. So I think we'll be fine. 
Let, let me let me not over exaggerate what we've got going on here. We'll be fine. We just need to minimize losses at this point and maximize, hopefully, getting something to show out of this entire thing. Thank you all for watching. What a what a mess. An absolute mess. This is what we get for leaving those dropships for this long. Thank you, as per usual, of course, to the patrons for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to That Gay Commie, Brittany Lee, Alchemia, Prototype In Session, Esidus, Armac1955, White Fox God, Buen Gun, Hippie Springbeer, C-Mac, Guardian Ista, Benji C, Hottie Sphinx, and Inked Sphinx as well. Thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well goes out to Randoman9989, JC Sly91, Strokain, Green Zeus, Huntsman, Brennick, Shittle Dirt, Plasma, Monty, Trenchgun, Sandy Whois, and Ronald DK.